a distance between us It's getting hard to reach out Haven't seen you in seasons But all I hear is your voice I know my limits You can break me down but Stay till the finish line And I've been counting minutes For quite some time now Just to see you again And I Hey there guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are making some food. We are starting this video by making this delicious and wonderful lunch. We are starting by frying our goat meat. Our goat meat I've used some soy sauce, ginger and garlic as my base ingredients. And I have added a little bit of black pepper just for, you know, for marinating. And yeah, that's what I'll be using to stir fry my goat wet fry meat you guys it was so 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 yummy where i really really recall how it tasted it was so so yummy i loved it on the other spot i am frying some onions i'm going to make some pilau on the side yeah just to eat with that goat and uh, yeah it was oh my goodness it was it was on another level that's what i really i really really enjoyed eating that same day we got me For our pilau, I have fried some onions. Later, I have added some ginger and garlic paste. And on that, I have added some uh, sour, some pilau masala and some salt. And added boiled water. And straight away, I'm going to add some rice and leave it to cook. And this pilau turned out so, so yummy. It was amazing. Guys, you can easily follow me on Instagram in case you want something to ask or maybe, uh, you know, a recommendation or something like that. Business partnership and collaboration. Follow me on Instagram. My name is Beatrice and underscore one day underscore. And that's my Instagram handle. And I hope you are loving the video up to this point. in the comment section so many people of you have asked for my number for those who want to support me guys that is my number and thank you so much for that wise thought blue for feeling behind my eyes you stood out because you were in My intentions are You find your human way You turn me violent instead Summer high Met you in August New York back to my cold apartment Distance sucks But at least I'm still with you I'm serving for my hubby and myself and we really really enjoyed this meal it was so so yummy we are sharing a plate and this makes the appetite even wild
Even when I stop doing the exercises, maybe for two to three days, guys, I usually just forgive myself and go back to eat. So this is me at least two days later without exercising. And today I have decided, well, let me just go back to this. If this is what my life depends on, let me just do it. Because it has really, really made a big difference. My legs are not hurting at all, at all, guys. I am very, very, very much better from who I was like two weeks ago without walking. Right now, I can see the difference. And this, this is something I have tried and it has worked. If you are having heel problem, just go ahead and do these exercises. Research on calf exercises and also, you know, how to stretch your legs and do that. Yeah, it has been really, really a uh, great improvement on me. Rudy Sharp, good boy. Let me make some tea for you. I should make some tea for you as I drink some water. I'm going to make you some chocolate. Good. Hey guys, good morning. Today is on now. Um, Today is on a, uh, on a, uh, on a, uh, on a. Uh. Yeah, you mean today is on a Thursday? Hey, Jesus, time is flying. As I was saying, today is on November. No, third of November, third of November. Time really does fly. And it's also on a Thursday. So this week is already over, guys. Like weeks in Kenya, they are usually just Monday, Tuesday. And when Wednesday reaches, you just know the week is over. Anyway, guys, I am so much happy to be here talking to you on camera. I feel good. Yeah, guys, of late. Let me just talk about my life of late, guys. Uh, we've been having really, um, we've been having arguments with my hubby so much, by the way, so much. Let me just be honest. <laughs> We really have those arguments we've been having those arguments and trust me guys since we started um uh, we just started life with my hubby we've never had those arguments so it's been a while well, well. just looking at my hubby coming home with a lot of anger he wants to like you know explode and those arguments have really really like brought in so much dullness into my life anyway guys that's just normal we have sold them right now that's why even i'm talking about them if you if you could not have sold them i couldn't be here talking about them but there were a lot they were a lot let me just tell you but guys hey well see those arguments have led me to drinking alcohol guys and Honestly speaking, there's no way, there's, there's just something that whenever I take like alcohol, immediately I will start being self-conflicted. I will start being an, uh, like, there's so many things that happen to me when I take alcohol. Number one, I will feel so much guilty. I will even cry, cry and cry. I usually, like, if, if, if you were to give me alcohol, just give me, um, 
bring me back to 2017 and maybe 2017 most of it i drank so much alcohol but anyway guys right now so i've not been drinking alcohol for the longest time and i feel so much conflicted i feel like self guilty whenever i just like you see the problem comes in like this uh, today we have argued with my hubby and tomorrow he wants like to make me calm down and maybe um, he just wants like for us to toast so he will he will go outside and come back with some wine and that will bring a major problem because i will start taking the wine and then i will start crying <laughs> and then the rest of the day i will do nothing because because the wine which i've taken will make me feel so much conf confined i usually feel bad i'm uh, uh, my conscience is not clear i have problems with myself and then i will cry and then i will feel bad and then i will start feeling like i have messed up with god i have messed like you guys alcohol definitely guys not that i don't i i just hate alcohol but aki alcohol is just not for me just look at me uh, drinking wine. I even don't look good in it. <laughs> I even don't look good in it. Even my husband told me, hey, nakumbe we pombe. Hey, pombe mukata. Like at that day, I've been drinking wine almost the whole week that has passed. So it has not been good, guys. So I went into the self guilt started eating me up. And then I felt like I messed up with God. The way I, I just love the faithfulness of God and then I will start crying. Eh? So guys, what I'm here to say is that sometimes we do fail, but the, top, uh, the problem is coming back again to Christ is usually so hard. Let's go. Wash your hand. And, and not that I'm just trying to justify that drinking alcohol uh, goes hand in hand with not being close to Christ. There are those people who wash your hands. Wash your hands. His school loves washing his hands, so he's just like, wash your hands. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. The only two things wash that your... Isco will speak in English, you guys, <laughs> wear my shoes. <laughs> he loves wearing his shoes. Wear your shoes, Baba. Wash, wash your hands and let's go. But for me, I usually feel so much. Like my intentions are not clear. My mind is not clear. I feel so bad drinking alcohol so i was feeling so bad guys and i had like to come back to christ so i had like a whole day of fasting and praying because it was so much pain in my heart so uh i loved listening to one of uh the biggest pastors like i love listening to elevation church that is pastor stephen fatik I listened to him the entire day. I cried, I cried, I prayed, I prayed, I prayed until that thing, I felt it out of me. I felt that guiltiness out of me. I felt, um, I felt like I had forgiven myself, but the way I felt like the spirit had gone away. Hey, guys, and, I, and when I tell you when the spirit goes, coming back is not easy. It just, it just takes the grace of God. So I prayed. Until right now, I, my conscience is clear. I've forgiven myself. I have really forgiven myself. Let's go, please. Twerk. So, guys, right now I'm, I'm feeling so great, and that's why I'm even talking to you guys. Please, if you feel like you have conflicted, you, you are not happy from within, or you are not having peace from within, just go back to Christ. That's the only way you can have peace. The only way you can solve things that cannot be solved by this world going back to Christ. So I went back to God and I cried to him. Kai and Aki God, Mungu tuwa ipiwe aitwe Mungu because God will forgive you imagine and you will even feel it. That same day I felt like as open I was able to talk to her, my hubby. I was able to do my things. I was able to clean my house because it was messy. And when I, and when I tell you I ja, I will just leave things laying around because i am not okay mentally and then i have conflicted myself so i feel like i can do nothing my kitchen was oh my god so i'm feeling so much great i did that uh, the previous day that was on on tuesday and today i'm feeling good oh gosh i'm feeling so good i even felt like oh my god i should shave my hair i can <laughs> hey hey simwachane na pombe i was feeling like i'm useless <laughs> 
I felt like I'm useless. I felt like my life should stop right away. I felt like I should just shave my hair and this hair was, was just irritating me. I was feeling so bad. But right now I feel like I should go, go out, do my hair, do my nails, do what, look beautiful, feel great and just enjoy life. Hey. Yeah, guys, I'm feeling so much great. As you can just see, I'm feeling so happy. And that happiness has been brought by God. Nobody, nobody whatsoever could bring that happiness back. Only God, because I was not talking to my mom. I was not talking to my dad. I was not talking to my husband. I was not talking to anybody. But God has made me come back to life like I was dead. Guys, I was dead. And be just just be told life is not just as flowy as you think sometimes things happen and then you end up feeling you end up losing the track and then you end up losing the way and then you end up in things that you don't want to involve yourself in and then right things just flow very bad but when god just when you just take time and bring your issues to god guys we Generally, the only thing that I was solving with God was my self-guilty, you know, my heart, my heart in general, my conscience was not clear and everything went back to normal. Right now we are okay, guys. I am promising you I'm feeling better. And if you try that, you will tell me. You will. First of all, the agenda of the day today, I'm, going, I'm just going to chill in the house and do some living. The kitchen, I cleaned it yesterday because everything was messy. Today I'm going to clean the living room and just and just uh, do away with the cleaning and.
allow me to end this video from here guys i am so so much happy for all you who have watched up to this point guys please remember to give me a thumbs up it really really supports our channel please like this video again if you are new please subscribe i will be very very humbled to have you all of you subscribe to this video thank you so so much for watching and yeah guys happy happy weekend happy saturday to all of you and i wish you nothing but the best of luck may god favor you this november and even as you are approaching the end of the year i will see you on my next video bye bye Mwah.